This is the Country Hearth Inn in Benel, Florida. This hotel has been closed since 2009. Since then, it has been a site for vandalism, drug use, vagrants, and apparent suicide, and most notable, as we will see in this video, devil worship. I visited my lifelong friend Alfredo, who lives near Benel, to take a tour. Once a bustling hotel right off I-95, this hotel has become destroyed from vandalism, as you can see in this footage. We decided to take the journey up to room 21, where some strange happenings have gone down in the past. As Glenn Danzig sings in the Misfits song, Horror Hotel. Well, take it up to room 21, where all the creatures gonna have their fun and underworld dangers and underworld scum. Take it up to room 21. We can see from the writing on the wall and the symbolism that evil was here. But most recently some people came and spray painted over some things with positive writings also. That bed to the right with the upside down cross was moved from another room. As my good buddy Alfredo stated to me, there was another mattress that was there prior to this one, and that mattress was covered in blood. Alfredo said the police came and removed it after complaints from local residents who went there during the day and discovered it. In February of this year, there was an attempted suicide in the parking lot of the hotel. An apparent suicide attempt drew a large response by Flagler County Sheriff's deputies early this morning in front of the shuttered Country Hearth Inn on Old Dixie Highway. The man at the center of the issue has survived and was taken to a local hospital. A sheriff's spokesperson said deputies on patrol first noticed a motorhome parked in the parking lot of the vacant motel and wanted to do a welfare check to make sure everyone was okay. Deputies were going to let the occupants know they could stay there for the rest of the night, but would have to move along. First contact was made around 3 a.m. Once they made contact, they felt there was something medically wrong with the person in the vehicle, the spokesperson said. They believed that the person was harming themselves, so they had to strategically make entry, and the person is now being transported to the hospital. The man in the vehicle was alone. He was in need of medical attention and was not able to communicate with deputies, the spokesperson said, confirming that it was a suicide attempt. That's what it looks like right now. The investigation will, of course, determine more of what happened, but at this moment, that is how it appears. At the moment, the sheriff's office had no information to disclose regarding whether a weapon was used regarding the identity and age of the victim. But what the rest of the article fails to report is that the man died, apparently from a 380 caliber head wound. Sometimes the news does not tell the people the whole story, but Alfredo found out the facts from an acquaintance at the hospital. Lastly, four rooms down, the walls were plastered with the satanic cross or the leviathan cross as it is called it is the alchemical symbol for fire and brimstone and was made publicly by the church of satan founder anton levey also jane's addiction guitar player dave navarro has this tattoo on his neck are you woke yet <laughs> 